Hi, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. Today's pick a card is going to be all about your future romance, who's coming in and what are some details about them? When are you going to meet them? All kinds of questions um, I'm going to be answering today. So it's going to be a lot of fun and really informative and we get to get a sneak peek into your love life. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you are watching this and you enjoy this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel too if you haven't yet. And if you have, thanks so much for being part of my YouTube family. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for those of you who have donated to my channel and who have um, booked personal readings with me. I really appreciate that and I'm having a lot of fun with giving personal readings. So if you're interested in having a personal reading, um, the information for that is in the description box below. And all you have to do is send me an email and um, I will definitely email you back. All right, let's get going with today's pick a card. Welcome. So today's pick a card, we've got for pile number one, my Unity deck, which I created. And if you're interested in purchasing a deck for yourself, um, you can find the information for that in the description box below. Um, and then if you choose pile one, you'll be choosing this selenite stone. And if you are attracted to pile number two, which is the Egyptian tarot deck by Miss Cleo, and this jade stone, you're going to choose pile number two. And if you like this and are drawn to this peace sign stone um, and this golden rider weight, you'll choose pile number three. So if you need to pause the video, um, go ahead and do so at this time. Otherwise, let's get started. Hi, pile number one. I am just going to light a candle and set the intention that spirit be with me. And as I'm delivering these messages that whatever is meant to come through for you will come through. Just cleansing the space. Cleansing the cards. Okay, now I'm going to shuffle the deck. All right, Spirit, what is coming forward? Um, what is coming through in the near future for pile number one in the area of love and romance? Who is coming in? Who is coming in and what will they be like? And please, Spirit, give us as many details as possible. So there's a real need and a call for balance right now in your life before you meet that special person. So um, it's just time to go within to maybe take a little bre um, break or a little rest because um, in the past you might have been feeling just kind of like you needed a little break, okay? So there's definitely somebody coming in for you. There's a king of pentacles and this is an earth sign wow this is going to be a good love connection because you have got the oh they could be a capricorn because capricorn the four of pentacles is indicative of a capricorn see here yeah and pentacles are earth signs are taurus capricorn or virgo so it could very well be a capricorn person and you are going to be so attracted to this person and it's going to be mutual too. Yay. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I've got the warm fuzzies for you because look here, you got the sun, which is all about warmth and everything is great and you can finally relax and it's about abundance and happiness and it's a big yes. So, woo, good things are coming for you guys. I'm so happy for you. All right, you may also be um, meeting up with a page of swords. So they could have swords and pentacles in their charts. Swords are air signs. Leo, or they are um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So they could have um, swords in their chart or air in their chart. So be mindful of that. You're going to be hearing from them through the internet. They are going, or they might text you, send you a message through Facebook or something like that. Um, you're definitely going to be hearing from them 
relatively soon. It's not going to take too long and you're going to be hearing from them. All right, so this, this could very well be you. I'm getting that this is you here, the Queen of Wands. Even if you're not a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, you may just be very much um, uh, acting like the Wands kind of energy. And Wands people are very outgoing in the life of the party. Um, people love Wands energy people because they're so passionate about life. They really feel their emotions and... They're, they're just, I mean, look at the cute little corgi on this card. See how happy she is? Like, people love to be in your energy. So that is you. And you are definitely in the planning stages, so you are actively looking for love. You're going to find it, too. Definitely, there's a new opportunity coming in for you. This is something you've been thinking about for a while with the Two of Wands. It's been on your mind. You want to meet somebody and you're serious about you're serious about being with somebody. Now let's take a look at these cards that I made. These are um, channeled messages from Spirit. So Spirit, um, what would you like pile number one to know about the person that is coming in in a romantic way it's gonna be um whoa, whoa oh wow hold on a second the okay they, they like to stay busy and they're positive so those are two great cards those flew out so spirit wanted you to know that they love to stay busy they they don't like to be bored okay who else, who, what else can you tell us, Spirit? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm bumping things. Oh, goodness. Goodness, good. I think I'm just so excited for you guys. So I'm like, I don't know. I bumped the table. <laughs> I'm just so excited for you guys because I feel like the energy of this overall reading for you guys, pile number one, is that you've been waiting for this for a while now. And things are finally coming in for you. And I'm so happy for you that you got good cards. All right. There will be an instant connection. Yeah, that's what this lover's card is all about, guys. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I feel like you guys have been through so much, and you're finally going to get somebody who understands you. They will hold you in high esteem. They will hold you in high esteem. Yeah, you deserve good things, pile number one. Whoa, this one wants to come out. These want to come out too. They will have a nice residence. So wherever they live, it'll be a nice place. And you might meet them in the fall. So, you know, um, fall. Now, right now, it's August of 2022. So if you're watching this um, in August along with me, you may meet them relatively soon, like within weeks or um, a couple of months. But if not, this one wanted to come out too for next spring. So keep that in mind. And if you're finding this after August, um, you may find this person in the springtime of 2023. But you don't have to wait forever. That's the good news. They're coming to you. They are very grounded. Of course they are, especially if they're a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They're very grounded people. They, they are the kind of people that take um, work seriously. They are, oh, that flew out. They're hard workers, though. They also like to exercise. They enjoy exercise. Um, I'm seeing them, like, I'm seeing them on a, either on a bicycle or jogging or something or taking walks or something like that. Um, they like to give ver verbal affirmations too. They will tell you how, how high in esteem they hold you. They will tell you how wonderful they view you. Okay. They love to be verbally affirmed. That's their love language, verbal affirmations. They will tell you exactly what you need to hear. Okay, I'm hearing, unlike some people in your past that withheld that stuff from you. Like, these people, 
maybe people from your past it wasn't their love language but this person coming in this special person that's their love language they are happy healthy and whole so that's wonderful what else spirit what else can you tell me about the person coming in for pile number one They wear their heart on their sleeve. Yeah, so they're not going to withhold their love from you. They're not going to withhold their attention from you or their feelings. They're going to tell you exactly how they're feeling. What else, spirit? Someone will regret letting you go. So you're going to meet this new person. Then somebody else is going to be jealous because they're going to see you probably on social media or something like Facebook pictures of you and this new person together or something like that. Like they're going to see you out with this new person and they're going to be jealous because they let you go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just seeing like this person for most of you, this person has like dark hair. They're going to be very jealous of you that you found somebody else. Um, they have like a medium to, to large frame. Um, yeah. They may be a water sign. I'm just picking this up intuitively. Or they could be um, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They could be, they could be an air sign, but they're going to regret letting you go. All right. Whoa, this one came out too. This one wanted to come out. They are attractive and aged like a fine wine. So whoever this is, they are really, really attractive. All right, now I'm going to pick this up and I'm just going to intuit some messages about um, this person that is coming in for you. So because this is like a, a general reading, I can't really get too specific, but if you are interested in knowing more, definitely set up a personal reading for me and I will be able to come up with initials for the person that you are going to meet. Um, and yeah, but like, I guess I'm hearing just for most of you, I would say a high percentage of you, I'm hearing, I'm, uh, hearing B and A. So, um, it could be a first or last name. Let's draw some initials to see. But yeah, I'm just picking up on B and A. It could be first or first and last name. Um, also, I'm picking up on a J name. Okay, a J name. All right, let's see though. Spirit, what can you tell us about this person coming in? Right away, I see VID. So I do think this person is going to be into like video games. They're going to like video games. I'm seeing the B right there. So it could be Brian or Brad. They might like to hunt because I'm seeing buck. So they might be a hunter type of person. Somebody who likes to hunt. An outdoorsman. If not, they're just an outdoorsman. They love the outdoors. They love to watch nature. They have great energy. They're definitely the one for you. They're definitely the one for you. Because I'm seeing one. All right, there's your A. You get an A and a B. So, um, like, let's look at these together. I think they drive a truck. I'm seeing truck. They, they drive a truck. Okay, maybe a pickup truck. I'm seeing pick up truck. They definitely drive a pickup truck. Um, it could be red. I'm seeing red pickup truck. I'll, I'm also seeing a black pickup truck. So they could, um, 
drive a white, a not white, a red or a black pickup truck. This is so cool. I love these letter tiles. They give so much information. What else, Spirit, can you tell us about the person coming in for pile number one? They have a big heart. They are very um, endowed with special gifts, okay? Um, I'm seeing like, what else am I seeing? I'm seeing redneck. <laughs> they could just love the country or be like a cowboy or something like that. You know what I mean? Like be from the country or live on a farm or enjoy the farm life. Um, but I mean, they might be city, pe city people, but some, some of the, like, I would say the majority for the majority of you, they're definitely country type of people. They just love nature so much. They love to be out, you know, where there's a lot of trees and just the feel of like the long, tall grass and wind, um, blowing the tall reeds in the uh, everything, just nature, the beautiful sun, you know, watching the sunset and watching the sun rise and just being out in the, you know, in the nature. So, yeah, I'm seeing nature, nature, that is not an E, sorry about that, nature, I'm seeing nature, so they're going to love nature, so that's so cool. Um... I'm seeing the name Brad. I'm literally spelled out um, snow. I'm seeing snow, so maybe some of you will meet them in the winter, if not in the fall. So you might meet them in the winter. But for now, you you're just got you've got to rest. Okay, that's what this card is all about. Take a little pause. Take a rest. Spirit wants you to know that it's okay to take a little rest. You don't have to meet this person today or tomorrow, but they are coming through. So just take a deep breath and let it out and just relax and know that everything's going to be okay. Okay. It's going to be okay. I'm seeing okay. I'm seeing it's okay. And you're going to have a special bond with this person. Very special bond. I'm seeing speaker, speaker. So maybe they are a public speaker or they're in the spotlight somehow. I'm seeing the name Rick and I'm also seeing Patrick. Um, I'm seeing, um, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of different things, but yeah, you guys feel free to look in there too to see what you're seeing and let me know in the comments section what you guys see and um, if this resonated with you. I've had so much fun with this reading, you guys, and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, but yeah, this is so much fun and I plan on doing more love type of readings in the future because um, I put out a poll and 39% of you want more love readings, so I'm definitely going to be integrating more love readings into um, my pick a cards. Anyways, um, this has been so much fun, and thanks again for being here with me. Um, just take a deep breath and know that love is on its way to you, but it might just take a little while, okay? Um, it's on its way, though, okay? And so many, many blessings to you. Uh, pile number one. Hi, pile number two. I'm having fun with these readings today. I just got done with pile number one and it was so much fun. And I'm hoping that yours is as good because theirs was really, really good. Um, I'm just going to light some sage to cleanse the area because in between readings, I feel it's important to cleanse the space and to cleanse the cards and all that. Um, but yeah, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this deck of cards here. I'm also going to use um, some homemade channeled cards that uh, I channeled from Spirit. 
as well as the initials at the very end so that we can get more clues from spirit about this person coming in and we can even get their initials or their full name. So I'm so excited and we're going to be able to tell when they're coming in and everything. So if you chose that Jade Stone, then this is your reading. I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. I just want to take a moment to say I love you all so much and thanks so much for being here. 39% um, of you wanted more love readings, so that's why I decided to integrate more love readings into the pick of cards because um, I had put that poll on the community post. And yeah, you guys said you wanted more love readings. So I like to try to offer a variety of different types of readings, but um, yeah, I want to make um, you guys happy too. All right, so Spirit, who is coming in for pile number two in a love and romantic sense? Who is coming in? You might have to make a decision because there's a couple of different people coming in for you, actually. But um, I think one of them is not going to be so forthright. They're not going to tell you how they're feeling. You've got a King of Swords here, which is a... Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person. You got the Five of Swords, so I think you were betrayed in the past. But you've, you know what? You've actually overcome this, and you've become a better person because of it. You've learned a lot of lessons from this person that betrayed you in the past. And you have good things coming in now. You've got the High Priestess. It's helped you to actually become more intuitive as a person, like going through this. You're also going to have to use your intuition to help you make a decision about who your heart wants because there's going to be more than one person coming in for you. We've got the Death card. And we've got Justice. And then the Knight of Swords. So two different people that are Swords energy. One's going to be older than you, and one's going to be a little bit younger than you. Interesting. And then you've got the Sun on the bottom of the deck, which is amazing because that's all about the warm feelings that you're going to have and the feelings of abundance that you're going to have. But yeah, this person here is younger than you. They, if they're not an air sign, they could act like an air sign. So maybe they're, you know, air signs are good leaders. They're usually, they're the kind of people that are very analytical. They're in their mind. They, sometimes they don't really express their emotions a lot, which I think is why you got this here, because they don't, they're not like verbally expressive, but um, not very much. So they keep their feelings kind of to themselves. It's not that they don't feel feelings. They do, but it, they keep them to themselves. Um... Yeah, and if you're interested in finding out more about Swords Energy, you can definitely um, um, go to my library and um, go to my astrology playlist. Or I could even link it in the description box below about um, Swords Energy people. In fact, I think I'll make a note to do that. To um, link a video all about Swords or um, it's actually... Oh gosh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I will link those videos and you guys can check them out um, and see if, you know, you like what you hear because this is these are going to be the type of people that are going to be coming in towards you. They're going to be compatible with you. So you might also want to check your compatibility with um, air signs because that's what's coming in for you. Two different air signs and you're going to have to choose. Okay. This person here has gone through this older one has gone through a huge transformation and they might have even had like a weight loss or something or started like lifting weights or something because they have huge muscles. They are very into fitness. Um, they've had like this major transformation of their appearance. Um, also they've been through a lot. Um, they might've even been married before in the past. And then this person here is just very, you know, aware of what they're doing at all times. They're very conscientious people. They treat people really well. Um, they don't like to step on people's toes. Um, they're careful not to betray people because they've been betrayed in the past and they just want what's fair. Both of these people are good options for you, but, um, yeah, 
you're going to have to use your intuition to see which one um, you resonate with most, okay? All right, now I'm going to read, I'm going to um, use these channeled cards. These are channeled messages from spirit to let us know more about um, the person coming into your life. The one that is meant for you for your next long term or serious relationship. So this will be for the one that you ultimately choose, okay? All right. Somebody's going to be jealous of you when you're with this person. So somebody from your past is going to be very jealous of you because um, they're not going to like seeing you with somebody else. They have a very sustainable job. And you guys are going to be a really cute couple. I love this for you. I love it. So yeah, they're really, you know, complimentary to you in all ways. And you guys just look cute together. Your smiles are going to look similar. You're going to have like a similarity in your looks. So, so let that be one of the indicators. Um, they're going to look like they could literally be your cousin or something like that. They will understand you completely. It's a soul relationship. It's like a soulmate connection. They're, they're going to totally understand you. They're going to also be very generous with you. They, they do have enough finances to be supportive. And they love to buy gifts. They will buy you um, gifts. They love to share their love this way. It's their love language. They're gift givers. You can build a family together. So this person wants the same things as you. If you're wanting this, they're wanting this. Even if you don't want kids, they probably want the same things as you as far as like maybe you want a little fur baby or something and to just have a nice place to be together and spend time together. It doesn't necessarily have to mean children, but you guys just want the same things, okay? They love being close and they love physical touch because that's another one of their love languages. They love physical touch. All right, they could, I'm hearing they could even have Taurus in their birth chart. So definitely um, look at their birth chart when you meet them. You can go to my birth chart calculator in my description box. It's actually on Astrolata's website. And you can put in their time of birth, their date of birth, their place of birth, once you find all that out in the future, and see if they have Taurus in their chart as well. They will give you strength. They'll give you some strength like never before. Maybe other people in the past have let you down and they weren't strong enough. Um, I'm hearing that song. Um, Are you strong enough to be my man? I don't know. It just came to me. So... You know, maybe you were with somebody who wasn't strong enough to be your per your person or your, you know, your love interest in the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be a man. But you know what I mean? Like, they, maybe they had a weakness about them or you couldn't respect them. This person is highly respectable because they've, they're they going to earn your respect. They'll actually see you for who you are. They're not going to judge you. They're going to be open to you. They aren't going to try to change you. And this is fated. Whoever this is, it's very fated. All right. The one that you choose. They won't settle for you. They just won't settle. You know, some people will just settle. Well, they actually are going to be head over heels for you. And they love kids. So if you're thinking about having kids, this person wants to build a family together and have kids with you. Like I said, it could even be fur babies. So, yeah, like little cute little animals. But whatever it is, whether it's, you know, kids or animals, you guys, they're going to want to build with you. So this is wonderful. All right, so now I'm going to get the um, letter tiles out. And we're going to see if we can find their initials. But um, before we do that, I'm just getting some initials. I'm getting the initial, um, even though this is a general reading, for most of you, I'm picking up the initials um, D and uh, A, D and A, and uh, what else? What else, Spirit? Yeah, I'm picking up D and A, and gosh, I know this is unusual, but I want to say Z for some of you. So they might have a Z in their name somewhere, which is just weird. 
I didn't even want to say it and that's why I was hesitating because I'm like Z that's not even that common but they could have a Z in their name okay all right so now let's see what the um <laughs> Yeah, let's see what the letter tiles have to say. What spirit, spirit, please help us to determine who is coming through for the next serious relationship um, for um, pile number two. This is going to be a soulmate connection. Who is this person coming in? F N I O R T U G D O F R G D W A P A E B N L I S G and just a few more spirit spirit please be here with me now as I get these letters. Oh that that there's just confirmation they are going to definitely see you. You might have felt like you know, you were with somebody in the past who didn't value you, but yeah, um, they're going to definitely value you. All right, so let's look together and see what we can find, but I know before I mentioned um, Z, just because I'm not seeing that here doesn't mean that it's, you know, not included in their first or last name, but um, I did mention D and A, I believe, and those are definitely here. So it could be Dale or um, Dan, Daniel, I'm seeing Daniel. Um, they could be older than you because they could be like a father figure kind of thing to you. I'm seeing dad and father. So they're like a father figure to you, like they're older than you and you can respect them and trust them. So, yeah, that's what I'm picking up here. What else? They're definitely going to desire you because I'm seeing um, desire. Desire. There's going to be a lot of, like, fireworks and stuff when you guys, you know, finally get together. Fire. They could even be a fire sign for some of you. I'm seeing um, Leo. They could be a Leo. So um, remember that too. That's a wands energy. But yeah, wands. Wands energy. Wow. So you could have a choice between somebody who's a wands energy or an air. Okay? An air sign. Interesting. Well, you must be very special because you got choices for sure. People really like you. Um, yeah. Somebody's beg, beg. Somebody's begging you. I think that's like an ex that is going to try to get you back. Fear. Yeah, there's an X too. I'm picking up that wants you back. But you, you know, this is just part of your choice. You don't have to take them back. But there's an X that wants you back. Wish. This is going to be a wish come true for you guys. Um... This person might, like, I don't think you know them yet, but for some of you, you do, and they've, they, like, acted like they ran away from you. Um, I'm seeing ran and run. 
So for some of you, this could be like <clears throat> somebody who ran from you or acted like they weren't interested at first, but they will be back. Um, when are they, when are they coming in? I'm hearing like November or somewhere around there. November? Um, also maybe September because I'm seeing nine and that reminds me of like September. So definitely um, they're coming in in either around September or around November. And this video is put out in uh, August of 2022. So if you're watching this after, um, then maybe this isn't going to apply to you, but it could be for, you know, like just know that it's on its way. But this is more for like current times. So... But it doesn't mean that this is not true if you're finding this after um, August of 2022 or after, you know. But just know that this is still relevant for you, even if you're finding it later on. They could be from a different country. I'm seeing foreign. Foreigner, they could be from a different country. Um, yeah. <coughs> <clears throat> they're also going to be a good friend to you or for some of you they, they're a friend right now but they want to be more this is interesting i'm seeing the name brad brett brent brandon yeah brandon Brayden, um, Ash, Ashton, Ashton, or Asher. I'm saying all kinds of names in here. Um, so definitely um, keep looking for words. You can pause the video if you need to. This has been so much fun and I've really enjoyed it and I hope that you did too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel yet um, if you haven't yet. And um, be sure to leave a comment for me and let this know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if, you, if it resonated and if you enjoyed it. Um, and if you liked it, please press that like button because it really does help with the algorithm of the video to get it out there so that more people can see this video. Um, I love helping people, so I hope this video has helped you. All right. Um, and expect more um, fun and interesting videos from me in the future. You can always feel free to check out my library of videos as well. I have lots of pick a cards and lots of educational videos as well about everything esoteric including astrology and uh yeah so anyways um many blessings to you pile number two hi pile number three i'm so glad you're here if you chose this peace sign stone this is your pile today we're gonna have an exciting time because we're gonna be finding out all about who's coming in for you for your next serious relationship um, we're going to do the letter tiles so we can get their initials, maybe even their full name. Um, anything that spirit wants to bring in about, you know, um, any details of their life, basically, to help give us clues about who's coming in. We're going to be using some channeled message cards as well that I made. Um, and I'm cleansing the deck right now, and I'm cleansing my space, okay? Just because I like to cleanse the space of any and all energies between readings because I do a lot of readings. All right. Thanks so much for your patience. And now I'm going to shuffle the cards for you. Pile number three. All right. So spirit, please be here now with us as I deliver messages to pile number three about who is coming through in their love life. All right. That didn't take long. So right now you might be a little bit defensive. 
um, because you've been hurt in the past, but have no fear. You're going to feel a lot more balanced here pretty soon. You're going to have a new opportunity coming in in the areas of love and romance. You'll be able to see things in a more positive light because right now you might just feel like, oh, am I ever going to meet this person? Yes, you will, but Spirit is saying you need a little bit of time alone, okay? But after some time, you could very well meet a king of swords, an older man or woman, um, somebody older than you who is either an air sign or they could act like that. And air signs are Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. They could have this in their chart or they could just act like them. So um, in general, swords energy people are very good at leadership types of roles. They're very um, respectable people. They're very analytical. Um, they're good communicators. So very good verbally with expressing themselves. And so this person is coming in for you. This is exciting. You've got the world here. Wow. Ending of cycles and starting of new cycles. You've also got the Empress. So if, if you want to start a family, you have the you will have the opportunity to start a family with this person that's coming in. Things are really looking for uh, moving forward for you finally after a lot of stagnation. And marriage is coming in for you. Oh my gosh, guys, this is amazing. Yeah, but you, you've you been through a lot. I'm not going to lie. You've been through hell and back, okay? And you might be feeling hopeless right now, but know this. Hope is on its way, and you are going to be finding this person. He's going to be, he or she, they're going to be older than you, okay? All right. Spirit, please be here now as um, I deliver these messages to pile number three. What is this person in the future going to be like? Please, please be here now. They look good and they put the effort into it. So yeah, they're going to look good. What else, Spirit? They like to ride a bicycle. Interesting. Interesting. So keep that in mind that they enjoy bike rides. This could even be a motorcycle because I'm seeing it could be both. It could be either or. What else, Spirit? You might start out as friends. So you could be friends first. You could even mute, meet through a mutual friend. Like you might see them at a party or something. They're really good with their hands. They have a gift with their hands. They could be builders. They could literally make things like tables or chairs or something out of wood. Um, or whatever they do, they're just really good with their hands. They could have a job where they work with their hands. They love to take pictures of memories and moments. So they, like, things are important to them. Uh, making memories is really important to them. So they love to take pictures because it, um, you know, it reminds them of things from the past because they're nostalgic, okay? They will give you the strength that you need because you've been feeling like this, okay? Like you've been through hell and back. They're going to give you the strength that you need. You make plans together. You're going to make plans together. And if you're curious to know more about Swords Energy people, I'm going to link that in the description box below. Um, you can watch my videos. I have um, tutorial or not tutorials. I have educational videos all about Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius people and what they're like. So I will definitely link those in the description box below and you can watch those and find out more about your person that's coming in for you. You can even check your compatibility with those signs. All right. They are very intuitive as well. And I get the feeling that you are too, you know, quite intuitive and you're open to spiritual matters. They are too. They're just like you in that way. You know, you're going to meet your match. They're creative types. So they have interesting hobbies. Very interesting hobbies. You might even meet them online, like through Facebook or something like that. Or Instagram or TikTok. I don't know. You can actually meet people on TikTok, I've heard. So this is new, new for me. I hadn't heard that before. But yeah, you're going to meet definitely online on a, some kind of online platform through maybe a mutual friend. 
you're definitely going to have a union, a marriage, or some kind of a commitment for with them. So that's good. They are independent, so they're not like the needy type of person. They can stand on their own. They make good money. What else, Spirit? Just a couple more. You guys have similar backstories or like backgrounds or like the way you were raised. Maybe you were raised, both of you were raised in a small town or maybe the both of you were raised with lots of brothers and sisters or something like that. You know what I mean? Or maybe you were both like an only child or something like that. You're going to have similar backstories. And they might have light hair, okay? Like blonde or even if they're a little bit older, they could have like salt and pepper, like maybe brown with gray okay like with you know grayish hair or something like that kind of like i'm i'm seeing like salt and pepper so a little bit of brown and a, like a lot of gray but they could have light hair they're not the type of person to hold on to grudges either so that's good they they seem really nice like good people all right, now I'm going to um, pick these up and I'm going to ask the liner tiles to help me out. And we're going to see if we can find their initials. I'm getting the initials just like intuitively though. I'm picking up letter T. And also, um, there's like a, I'm, I'm picking up letter T. And for some of some of you, there's going to have an S or a P in their name somewhere, okay? An S, P, and T, somewhere in their first and last name. All right, that's what I'm picking up for you, S, P, and T. So, also maybe an L. S, P, T, and L. That's what I'm intuitively picking up for you. They could have all of those or some of those in their name. All right, now let's ask here the spirit to to help us out here with the letter tiles. Um, spirit, what are their initials? What are some what are some clues about this person that you can give us? Please, spirit, be here now with me as I pull these tiles, letter tiles for pile number three. B G L E H. R L E E B U R A I R G F T L N What else spirit? What else spirit? O E A X W For a few of you this could be an X that you already know and they've been a friend to you. Spirit is saying just one or two more. All right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do here. All right. <clears throat> so you guys could be friends now. It could be an ex. I'm seeing the name Dave, um, David, Lee, um, Leanne, um, uh, there's no Y, but I'm seeing Larry. Um, Terry, um, Tina, Trina, all kinds of names. You guys can look for names too in here. Now I'm going to start looking at the words to see what words jump out at me. It could, like I said, be an ex that exited and they're going to come back because they exited. Um, and they could be a friend, just a friend to you. And they could come back within like months or a year. 
is what I'm hearing from spirit. It could take, I want to say eight months to a year for this friend to come back. And you could have somebody in between. You could meet somebody in between. They Here's a, a clue. They will call you Han or Honey. Um, if it's not an ex, then it could just be somebody who's coming in later. Later. They're definitely coming in later. They're not coming in, you know, this month or next, but they are coming in. This is the person that's your long-term partner. This is the person that you're going to have a union with. Brie, Brianne, Glenn, um, what else? What else, spirit? Let it be. I'm seeing let it be. Let it be what it's meant to be and don't fight it, okay? Tax. This person, um, if you already know them, there could have been like a tax taxing thing that happened to your relationship because I'm seeing taxing. So it could have been like you were you were together before, but it was very taxing and you weren't even sure if if you guys had the deep love that you really want to have in their in your heart for them. There is a deep love. Um, there is a very deep love here. And this is definitely, um, they could be a fire sign of Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, because I'm getting Aries here too. They could very well be an Aries. There's no S, but I'm still seeing enough to indicate that they could be an Aries um, or a Leo. What else, spirit? Just relax and let it happen and let it be. It's not dead. It's very alive. Um, but the thing is, is that it needs to have a new life breathed into it. And it needs some time. Because there's a need to heal, I'm hearing. And a need to feel and feel your way through this. Maybe you're getting surprised and shocked right now because you, you didn't think you'd get back with this person. And maybe you're seeing their name in here. Okay? Yeah, so Spirit just told me to draw one more because somebody needs it. So I'm like, okay, I listen to Spirit. So we've got a J. So this could be somebody named John. J-O-H-N. Um, Jade. Jada. This person's definitely coming back to you. You knew them in the past. Jax, Jackson. There, yeah, Jackson. Um, you guys are so much alike. I'm seeing Rib and what came to me. Spirit was showing me like Adam and Eve and how... Like, God took a rib from Adam and made Eve out of it. Like, you guys are cut of the same cloth. You guys are so much alike. That's why you're going to come back together. Fade. You might have thought that it faded away, but it didn't. The love is still there. Return. They're going to return to you. Beg. They're going to, they're, yeah, they're coming back. barn i'm seeing barn so like maybe some of them are from the country or you could be or you live on or near a farm believe i'm seeing believe you've got to have faith that this is faith yeah ha believe and faith are here so you've got to have faith that they're coming back Give them a little bit of space, but let them know you're interested, too, is what I'm hearing. Joanne. Lisa. 
Levi. You could see last names here or initials. You guys have a real bond though. I'm seeing bond, B-O-N-D. They're a huge fan of yours. They just love you. You guys, it's fate. F-A-T-E, right there. F-A-T-E, it's fated. F-A-T-E-D, it's fated that you be together. I think you know it in your heart. You never really let them go. It's a birthright. I'm seeing B-I-R-T-H-R-I-T-E. This is your birthright. You're going to you're going to get back together with them because it's your birthright. You got to you have dealt with the issues or you will deal with the issues and then you'll get back together. This is so exciting, guys. I'm so glad that I could be a part of this to give you this good news. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and comment. I would love to hear um, what you've been thinking about this reading and if it applies to you and your situation. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thanks so much for being here and being part of my YouTube family. I love you all so much. And <clears throat> go ahead and feel, feel free to keep looking. But I think I will end the video here. Um, but yeah, um, many, many blessings to you all. And best of luck with the situation. And Spirit is also telling me to tell you, just have patience, okay? Just have patience. Much love to you all. Bye.